All right, so um, I guess I've got some, I've got some uh, learning points from yesterday. So I'm gonna try to speak a bit uh, better and um, yeah, just just going with it, going with the flow. All right. First thing, just uh, opening the project, opening Visual Studio Code, um, setting up uh, a ticker for my Jira, just moving that to progress, in progress. So there's a ticket, ticket PV7, send email notification to the user. There are a few requirements which I need to do. Uh, I uh, first need to set up a project, so I need to go to the uh, the project itself and just run it with Trampoline CI. It's gonna run on a local database. So we, we've got our app, which is fine. Uh, I've got a few changes which I added. So first I'm gonna comment those changes. Um, and um, and that's about it. So first, I've got a few change. First change is to add the limit to the Django admin, uh, so that I will enable a pagination for the number of, for the project lists. Uh, I'm going to display by default uh, 25 projects, and it's going to have pagination. I also added permission. I disabled uh, a removal of the project for non-admin users. So that's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna add this one, comment this one this way. Uh, that's gonna be um, limit number of displayed projects uh, in the Django admin panel. Let's comment that one, take another. It's a very good idea to comment changes in a, in a way that I'm gonna decrease the volume for the music. Uh, it's a good way to comment changes in a way that it will have a separate responsibility. Uh, it's like a, it's a good rule of thumb. Uh, so let's stage this one, and we're gonna name it uh, disable project removal from for the non-admin users. It's pretty useful because we we want to keep all of those things. Um, and I removed here from the apply uh, a badge which wasn't needed. Uh, that was the application form, and I didn't need that. So I'm gonna comment that one as well. So remove um, new badge from the application form. That's it. Uh, I've got a few changes here. I don't need this, I want it to have brown, so I'm gonna discard those lines. Uh, subscribe, I'm not using it, so that's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna remove it, but I'm gonna just, yeah, just leave them come out. So I can quit it, I can refresh it, and we are back in the game. So, that's pretty awesome, right? So I can click on it, and I've got the application form here. Uh, so that's good. Um, there are a few marketing related tasks, uh, one is just to get a target audience and uh, that's gonna go into the next print. Uh, the next print will be semi sales and marketing and product dev. Um, so that's a pretty cool one and um, yeah that's great. So if I will go here to the login, I'm gonna log in as Amanda. As you can see, like if I'm gonna, I, so I don't have permission now to delete a project anymore. And if I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna log in as admin instead. And I think that's the one. Oh, I don't remember the password. That's the. There we go. Change your passwords. You can see that there is possibility to delete the um, the project. Okay, so I think um, I think that's it. And uh, let's let's just work on the on the sand grid. So first, I need to set up uh, an API, and I also will go to Django. Uh, 
Tango send grids, like example or something, there should be definitely something like that online. So first uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what is the pricing model for this for the service. Um, it might be quite a lot for some people but it's fine. So for free you've got API, SMTP, SMTP uh, relay and webhooks, so that's great. Uh, there's more description to the more breakdown um, full feature sets for these pricings. Um, and that's a cool thing, you've got 100 emails uh, per day, which is I guess for MVP is, is, is enough. And we just need to go to sign up, sign in. I'm already uh, Django Sangris uh, example or tutorial. I think like tutorial is great. Um, so we look for the official one. So this is a uh, alpha app, text SMS, uh, two-factor authentication. I guess I have to. I don't remember Alfie. I never. I think I never used that before. I used. Uh, I used one password, and uh, I forget the name of that one. There's um, another authentication. It's very popular. Let's confirm that when they uh, when they acquired when Twilio acquires that one. Have I got it? Cool. I think there are two-factor authentication everywhere now, which is good practice. It's really good practice. Uh, it's a, I call it necessary evil. So that's the API, and and that's great. So send first email. Finish your. Complete pay plan. Um, so that's a good one. There's some info for the settings. This is what I need to do. API key, Django project, uh, send email. That's the one. So first, I need to. First, I need to. The good thing is that you can actually use core mail. So that's great. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna open my shell and just play with it. Uh, by just setting some of the environment variables. Um, so that's a great one. Uh, Django project website. I think there's something like that. Okay, so this is what you do. Uh, just go background, let's open the shell. And let's just take it, right? There we go. Let's just drop it here because like, what's, why not? So this is gonna be it doesn't work like this because uh, I'm gonna copy the one liner from here. It's much better that way. So this is the sent email say and okay that, that ain't gonna work, but I'm gonna use true. It should be like timeout because example.com is not a domain. And um um, you may also send email with Django using the send with uh, v5 library utilized uh, utilizes the web API instead of SMTP as the transport mechanism. Uh, so that's good. The question is: Is it better? Is it better or not? Dynamic template with JSON. Uh, here's a message. So I guess like you can create Jinja templates and just send some of the good stuff. Uh, there is email message, which is cool. Um, the kitchen sync email message. Uh, I can put CCs, I reply to. Uh, that's great, but I think I'm gonna skip it and just use SMTP so that I don't need to use any sort of third party uh, libraries. All I need to do is to mainly send using SMTP host and port using the email host, email port setting, the email host user and email host password setting. If set, um, 
are used to authenticate to the SMTP server and email use TLS and email uh, use SSL settings control whether a secure connection is used. So all you need to do is to set them up. So go into settings, I can quit the shell, just go into settings, copy those. Now we already have port, all I need is the uh, API key. Uh, and put uh, as the password here. This is exactly the value of the API key. This is exactly the value of the API key. And uh, this one is the environment variable. So let's go to the settings. There we go. At the bottom, email. And I also need that environment variable. I think I already imported OS. That's good. Um, this one is here, API key. I'll have to blur it. I should some uh, here API keys. Create a key. Okay, so first I need to set a uh, create a sender identity with SendGrid as the guide. So let's set this up. Um, send your first email with Twilio SendGrid, create a SendGrid identity. Before sending email, you will need to create an identity. There are two ways to do so. We recommend creating a single sender to get uh, set up quickly and test your email integration. Authenticate domain instead. So I'm gonna go with this one. It's for the, for the mail. Uh, I'm gonna set up the API key so that I can use a MD up. So create identity, uh, create a full access restricted billing. It and the question is the key ID, that's fine. Now I think I'm gonna open the shell and do the same thing. I'm gonna import send email like so. And I'm also gonna take this one liner the subject that's from I'm gonna change this here and that's to the only thing which is required for me to do that is create uh, to verify the sender. And I think that you know that you cannot use Gmail, so send grid uh, Gmail sender. I'm just doing this uh, just for now. I'm gonna change this email with the project domain once I will get it. Well, it's gonna be like a little marketing thing, like uh, just coming up with names and uh, just putting them through the tournament and picking up the best name. So let's have a look at uh, Gmail. Do I authenticate email identity? So how what happens if you verify send those in Gmail? Uh, in other words, what happens is you envelope from is sender. As you can guess, major mail providers such as Google, Microsoft, Honda implement DMARC to protect their customers and pre pre prevent abuse. Let's use Yahoo and email this one as an example. SPF. So there is like plenty of policies. We approve domains such as this one and the IP addresses. Same with domains and IP addresses will not be included in the approved domain. So I think it. It would be cool to do this in an async way. Usually you, when you send an email, just put it in a, on a queue and just send this asynchronously. So Django, so that you, you won't block and you will return the code very quickly. Uh, Django async send email. And it's usually like sending this one. I wonder if Python 2 can handle that one. Uh, 
that see offers across the entire range from SUVs to saloons. So there are some notes how to do this in an amazing way. Are as expected, Korean mail, which obviously doesn't support uh, formal serialization. The reason is why it does. Uh, if you have to return something from a task, you can return a dictionary. Um, so for now, I'm going to do this synchronously, and uh, perhaps with Django Celery, which I could incorporate and create a create a worker. Um, yeah. Too much, too much complexity for that at this point. So I'm gonna just uh, set up a, a direct email notification. Uh, once I will get 10 users, I'm gonna do uh, So I guess because of the DMARC, I cannot verify this on Google. Uh, so about it. Uh, one thing is that I could get my own domain. Uh, it can take like 30 minutes to update it. And, um, okay, which domain server uh, host you have? Go Daddy. Would you like to brand the link for the domain? Because it's uh, it's kind of a core thing to figure out the name of your of your product of your service. So 